I'm back. But this time, I brought a bunch of electronic parts with me, so that's why I'm building a graphics card. This is a GTX 1060, and this is my card, the Turtle Card 100X. The GTX has a clock speed of 1506 MHz, while mine only has the clock speed of 10 MHz. The GTX has 6 GB of video memory on a 192-bit bus, while mine only has 32 KB of memory on an 8-bit bus. The GTX's max resolution is 4K at 60 Hz, while mine's max resolution is 800 by 600 pixels at 60 Hz. This should show how weak my card is. To make the graphics card work, we first need to tell the monitor that we're going to send data over. To do that, we need to send a horizontal sync and a vertical sync signal based on this diagram over to the monitor. Then I made this chip for the horizontal sync. It has a resolution setting, a front porch setting, which is for the timing, a sync pulse, which is also for the timing, and back porch, which is also for the timing. The blank output says if we can draw to the screen, the sync pulse is for synchronization with the monitor, and the EBIT is for combining it with the vertical sync. This chip is made up out of one counter and four comparators. Now let's take a look at the vertical sync chip. It's the exact same thing, except that it doesn't have an E output. Now I need to connect these chips together. I'll start by connecting the EBIT over to the clock of the uh, V-Sync. Then I have to connect the enable bits together and set them to 1. And now I had to connect a clock over to the clock pin of a horizontal sync and set it to max speed. Then I connected all of the sync values up to the chips so they would know which signal to generate. And now, since the chips were finished, all I had to do was connect them up to the VGA port. I started by selecting RGB on the VGA port and setting it to all ones so it would be white. And then I connected the horizontal sync to the horizontal sync, and then I connected the vertical sync to the vertical sync. And then I finally connected the clock up to the clock on the VGA port. After connecting everything, I try to run it, but then I get an error. Turns out I connected the sync to the blank accidentally, and but after reconnecting that, I also had to divide the clock by 4 since I was also dividing the resolution by 4. After dividing the clock by 4, it works. It shows us a display. A white display of 800 by 600 pixels at 60 Hertz running on a 40 megahertz clock and if you change the RGB that you input into the VGA port the color of the display will change for now though I'll just set it to black the display recognizes the graphics card and knows that it's trying to send data over but what if we wanted to draw like a smiley face onto the screen? Then we would need to change the RGB as the counter counts to get an image. The graphics card would use RAM to save the RGB for every single pixel of the image, and then when it needed to draw the image, it would count every single pixel and put it onto the screen. In our case, we're going to be using 32 kilobytes of RAM, which I'll be installing in the next video.